This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. First, let's get a check at the forecast for Hurricane Isaias with CBS 4 meteorologist Isaac Gonzalez. Good Friday morning. Hurricane Isaias is a Category 1 and moving to the northwest at 17 miles per hour. It is forecast to continue along that path and tropical storm watches continue from Key Largo, Miami-Dade and Broward County. Hurricane warnings for the Bahamas. Tropical storm warnings in effect for the Turks and Caicos and Hispaniola and Hurricane Isaias is forecast to become a Category 2 later today or overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. The center is expected to be to the east of South Florida, but we still could be dealing with tropical storm conditions and we can't let our guard down. We still need to prepare here as we'll keep a close eye on this. Category 1, as we head into tomorrow afternoon, it'll likely then start to move a little bit more north up the southeast coast of the U.S. and then possibly near the Carolinas and up through the northeast New England areas. Most of South Florida's outdoor coronavirus testing sites are now closed until next week. All the state-run drive throughs and walk-up sites are closed in anticipation of the bad weather. They will reopen Wednesday at the latest. The number of new people in Florida infected with COVID-19 keeps hovering around the 10,000 mark. South Florida had more than 4,000 new cases yesterday, and the state health department says another 253 people in Florida died because of COVID-19. That is, again, the highest number of deaths reported in a single day. Miami police are searching for the person who opened fire on Brickell Key. Police say yesterday afternoon, a man got inside the Asola condominium building, went up to a 15th floor unit and shot the person who lived there. At last check, the victim is in critical condition at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Fort Lauderdale police are investigating two burglaries, which they say are related. The first happened on July 19th at a Popeye's restaurant in the 1300 block of West Sunrise Boulevard. Surveillance video captures two men going inside after smashing the glass on the front door. Two days later, police say the same men broke into a subway down the street, and now detectives hope you can help identify them. We understand that businesses are already suffering tremendously as a result of COVID-19 and the coronavirus. Um, we are hoping that someone in the community can help bring justice and help us solve these crimes and help these businesses that are already suffering. Detectives say the men could be responsible for up to a dozen burglaries. Fort Lauderdale police urge you to call them if you have any information. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11. Follow today's important headlines.